But we are so excited you're joining us here on Morning Break. Now, next weekend, the Reno Chamber Orchestra will be ringing in the new year with the Nevada Chamber Music Festival. And to tell us all about it, we have Executive Director Amy Heald. Held? Heald. Heald. <laughs> I was so close. And then also Principal Viola Dustin Budish. Did I say that right? You got it. Close. Budish. Okay, perfect. <laughs> See, whenever names come up on the prompter, I'll be honest, guys. Like, I always second guess them. Like, I'm going to butcher their names. And of course, I did. So thank you guys so much for being here. This is really exciting because this is your 19th festival. Can you tell us a little bit about what's happening next weekend? Yeah, so we are performing six festivals, six concerts in five days. Um, and this is a little bit departure from our normal large orchestra or larger orchestra. These are all small chamber ensembles. So between two and five, six people playing together. Um, most of them will be at Hall Recital Hall at UNR. And then our last one will be at Trinity Episcopal Cathedral um, and featuring a mix of our fantastic local Reno Chamber Orchestra musicians alongside um, some really world-renowned musicians from literally all over the world. And one of those musicians, of course, is Dustin, who plays the viola. Tell us a little bit about what you're looking forward to about this festival. Um, what I love most about the festival is just the variety of repertoire, even within the classical bubble. Um, we're ranging from uh, klezmer music on our opening concert to um, a piece that I'm playing by Shostakovich, which is, we, we dub it the most depressing <laughs> piece of, of viola and classical music ever written. Um, but there's just such a wide variety of pieces and, of course, personalities with the people that are visiting from out of town. And you, you mentioned um, a type of music that I'd only ever heard of today, klezmer? Klezmer, yes. yeah. yeah. Klezmer. What is that? Well, it's it's J Jewish um, okay. Hebrew music. It's it's has full of character, and um, uh, our our guest artist for that is David Krakauer, who's the most amazing clarinet player I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and just you've never heard clarinet playing like this. That's amazing, and he's your kind of opening act, right? Yes, he'll be um, performing throughout the festival, but the first concert is which will feature um, him specifically and on his own. Uh, compositions that he's written his, himself, um, the klezmer clarinet style, and then also um, some more traditional uh, classical chamber music pieces as well. Oh my gosh, okay, so that's first night, but like yeah. you said, you have six concerts in yeah. five days. That's very <laughs> ambitious. What are some other things that folks can look forward to? Um, so we have, like I said, a wide range. Um, we have uh, lots of string pieces, so some Brahms, but then also some lesser known, um, a composer named Arnold Bax, who is a British composer from from the early 20th century. Um, and then ending on um, New Year's Eve, uh, sorry, New Year's Day, um, an all string uh, concert with Bach, uh, some Grieg, uh, mm -hmm. a Haydn cello concerto. So just a nice way to ring in the new year. I think that's beautiful. And what's really cool about this series in particular is that not only can you buy like season tickets and go to all six shows, but if there's one in particular you really want, you're also selling individual tickets. Can you tell us about where people can find those information? Yes, so you can get all of the information about tickets at renochamberorchestra.org or you can give our office a call um, this week and then uh, to through Tuesday next week, but then we will be doing the festival. Uh, we are open 10 to 3, Monday through Friday. Um, but yeah, website is best way to get a chance, or you can come down and buy tickets at the door. Perfect. And Dustin, as a musician, what do you think is so special about, from an audience perspective, about hearing music that they may not normally get to hear? Um, I just think uh, it, it we, we have it always so, uh, the new recital hall, which if no one's mm -hmm. ever been to Hall Recital Hall at UNR, it's kind of the shining jewel of, of UNR in terms of having a, a, a hall that is an instrument in and of itself that really helps to just make us all sound great. And so the seating is very close to the musicians and um, it's just, there's an intimacy <clears throat> with chamber music that you don't normally get when you have the full orchestra. So oh. there's there's a strong connection just, just by the proximity, I think. Oh, and I love that so much. I mean, when you hear kind of the classical music I mean it's very emotional you know it's like some music it can kind of just kinda like skim the surface but then you listen to classical music and you're just like you're on the roller coaster <laughs> of emotions with everything I yeah. love that yeah, yeah. such extremes in, in all sense <laughs> I love it all right well we are so excited because Dustin is actually going to perform for us <laughs> maybe some of those extremes as well so we are so <laughs> excited about that you want to stick around I will also make sure that all of the music festival information is on our website colotv.com so stick around because after the commercial break we're going to have a quick check of your forecast and then Dustin's going to play for us. We'll be right back.